YouTube land, what's good? It's your boy B here, aka Brian, aka Prince, aka Prince for G. Wild the hating. I got another league match, but <clears throat> with this league match, I kind of wanted to have a discussion, and the discussion is about tournament nerves. This whole set, I'm gonna be honest, I lost fair and square 5 0, but maybe it wasn't 5 0, maybe I won a game. I don't, I don't really remember. I just remember losing the set. I'm not gonna lie. I was nervous the whole time and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about so I might it might be a clickbaity title but that's obviously to get you talking about the video because I generally don't know what to do or tournament nerves um tournament nerves kind of hit me in spurts right like they don't hit me right away they don't they don't hit me often like this weekend I had a tournament uh snapback volume two that I could be commentary for and I played it and you know to not know as much as I need to know about the game and to not be as good as the game as I want to be even though I'm in plat the highest I've ever been as far as the street fighter rank goes I was not nervous at all but here in this online match I was fucking petrified I don't know if I was petrified because I psyched myself out because I saw the rank because I haven't played against a Luke player in a while, but I don't know. And I think with nerves comes, I don't know if it's preparation or, I mean, preparation plays a part, right? So like, you're gonna see me do bold things and I, I can see a world where you might watch this video and be like, oh, well, that's how you normally play Prince. But it's like, I was playing so nervous. Like my heart felt like it's gonna jump out my chest. I felt like I was having a panic attack. Like, look at that, it's a drive rush he did a drive rush box string and I know that I can't do nothing but I tried um well I mean obviously I could do something but I I don't know I was just playing so nervous I don't know why and I think with nerves right like you gotta conquer them like half the battle of playing a fighting game is staring the gun and like the the shotgun in front of your face right Got a good punish combo here, yep, into a level two. I don't know if this killed though. I think it was close. Yeah, it was close, I remember that. And I think I got EX. Uh, yeah, I put myself in this loser situation, yeah. <clears throat> like half the half the battle is being able to like, like get a punish counter and be able to do the combo you need to do in order to win or get a chance to anti and be able to anti -air. Get a whiff punish and get a better with punish than just a fireball, you know what I mean? Like, and I, I just, I, for some reason was just in my head so much about this set. I don't know what it was. I wish, I wish I could sit here and give you an honest answer. Like, did I get intimidated by the fact that Aqua, but <laughs> funny name or Aqua's, but I wonder if that's Aqua's from uh Kanasuba, Cause if you know, you know, but like, I know I saw the rank and I did get intimidating, but other than that, I just don't know. What's wrong? I, I, I don't know. Because outside of this, the last time I got nervous, truth be told, mm, it's been a while to where I've been flat out nervous to play, like, just petrified to play, like, scared to play. Um, I didn't get nervous at Frosty. I didn't get... I think the only times I do get nervous is the times I'm supposed to do good. I think that's the best way to describe when I actually feel nervous, right? Cause it's like what I'm supposed to do, what I'm supposed to do, or like I'm the, say, one that's supposed to win. I kind of choke. It's like I have a survivor's guilt. I don't know how else to describe it, and I don't know why I feel this way. And like another never thing, another third thing I did there is I could have just did the dragon lash, like ex dragon or run dragon lash and got side switch, but I didn't. Or a level one, got a side switch, but I didn't. But I took the combo mid screen because I'm playing nervous. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like, I don't, I also, like, I don't believe that I'm supposed to be where I'm at. And then it's like, I don't trust myself. I don't know why. Cause then like, I can't get a punish without doing the run combo or doing drive rush, which I be putting myself in burnout. And it's like, your can can be way better than this, but you're choosing to, use old habits which i don't understand why i'm like this i generally don't and i think that the more preparation i do right i'll be able to believe that i could do what i'm supposed to do and i think it's also a pride thing because if no one else is going to believe in you in this world right you have to believe in you and if you don't believe in you then it's going to be very hard to convince someone else to believe in you and a fighting game is such a weird dynamic right like the people that 
you play in fighting games and they do the bullshit where they'll like jump and then do a random sweep or they'll like do a throw or they'll press after like something that you're safe on and then you still technically your turn they don't believe in your ability to punish stuff like that like i should have punished that but that could have got a better punish than that they don't believe in you so like you know what i'm saying everybody their mama knows jumping is a bad idea and i do it a lot i just do it because my neutrals is weak that's the reason why i do a lot i don't really do it just because i love jumping i just i don't know it's easy but someone disrespecting you see i had the right idea but i did low for it when i should have did something else maybe like a standing round hop. but for how long he was charging me like they can't disrespect you if you show that you're willing to not disrespect but be ready to, for the punish like a jump and then also something i have to believe in i think is that even if i whiff a normal so that was nice i could recover in time to do a dp like a dp is involved usually on frame one to seven right i think see now i'm second guessing myself this is the, what i do this is what i do in my real life too this, don't think this is just fighting games <laughs> and it's weird because like i am a confident person it's not like i don't exuberate confidence it's just like i don't want to become cocky so i intend to pull it back which is not it's not cocky if you belong if you believe where you belong but it's like i think why i have imposter syndrome is because i want to be with like the big dogs or like if you ever see the kids that was like say great at math and they was in the advanced class it's like i've always been a good student and like say if i was like the fifth grade math level i was with my peers and i was high up with my peers but i could never be in the sixth and seventh because i just wasn't good enough and speaking of not being good enough i just did something super risky for no reason at all but um i just want to be good i think that's why i got my imposter syndrome because it's like i want to be with my peers so I want, like i i see how everybody else does with like Rashid and like how some of these uh, granted some of these are pro players some of these are content creators but they just oh Rashid master rank and then like they're getting it and they're doing well in other fighting games and it's just like I just want to do well I don't have that thing in life that I'm good at even with fighting games like yeah I can naturally talk and it's like yeah I captivated you know maybe the 10 people who might view this or the the 400 and 80 people that might see this on their feed or whatever for my youtube channel but the ability to get people to believe is is one thing anyone could commentate anyone could play a fighting game but in order to do what you think you could do you gotta be good and you gotta trust your eyes you gotta trust everything and like see i i often play like i don't trust myself or i don't believe that i belong and i think that's the reason why I get nervous sometimes. Because I'm good enough to do combos. I'm good enough to whiff punish. I'm good enough to do everything. But it's just like I just don't trust myself. I think that's what I'm getting at when I don't believe in myself. Because you see how I'm still kind of playing wild. But I'm challenging more and I'm anti-airing more. And it's a completely different set. But I, I still be getting grabbed. I'm not going to lie. I got I to gotta work on my wake-up defense because like... When I think a motherfucker's gonna grab, they hit me. When I think motherfuckers will hit me, they grab. So I, I gotta work on that. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I wanna know. I want this to be an open discussion. I don't know. See, another reason why I don't believe myself. I, I'm not the best at articulating my words and putting them on uh, the internet for typing and stuff like that. Just because I don't believe in my grammar and my penmanship. But. I, I do want this to be a discussion. Worst case scenario, I will read your comments because I want to know what you know y'all do. Like, how do y'all deal with tournament nerves? Because like, playing in the tournament doesn't make me nervous. Doing good does, and it's like I'm I'm very good at taking myself out of the moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like I don't like I. It's very rare that I look at this match as in like me just fighting this person. I like I'll look at this match thinking like, damn, I want to win and I want to do well. But I don't look at it as like, all right, if you want to do well, then stop him from jumping. You know what I mean? Or something simple like that. Or like, stop him from grabbing you. Stop him from getting hit. Because usually it's like I it takes just one hit and then I kind of derail. So I don't know. I think. I just need to I just need to find a way to believe in myself again. 
I believe I'm um, this player that can do all these things. And trust my eyes, trust my defense. Because even then, I'll get it confirmed. Like, the crazy part, too, is like, I'll see myself get it confirmed and then not believe in it. And another thing is that the league's over. I thought the league was eight weeks, but I guess it's only six. And I, f I won't spoil it when I finish because I still got one more video. But I just got to believe in myself more. And uh, for anyone out there that really do want some advice, um, especially from like a plat Ken player, so I'll take it with a grain of salt. Believe in yourself, man. They're like your fundamentals are your fundamentals for a reason. Like if you have the ability to whiff punish, you know, try it. The worst thing you could do is not try. So, you know what I'm saying? If you got an optimal Ken combo that you know you could do the loops, maybe find it the, the consistent, because there is a such thing as tournament combos and non-tournament combos. But believe in yourself, man. Like, you're never gonna get better at anti-airing if you don't anti-air, if you don't try to. You're never gonna get better at defense if you don't try to block. You're never gonna get better at whiff punishing or neutral if you don't play neutral. Like, don't always cop for the easy option just to win. Cop because you wanna get better. Um, like, I generally do wanna get better. I just don't put myself in the position to get better because it's like I almost don't trust myself, like I said before. So if y'all could promise me that y'all are going to practice something to get better on. Because, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, my life gets in my way. That's the reason why I'm, I don't get better. That's why I'm not a great YouTuber. That's why I'm not a great Twitch streamer. That's why I'm not a great Street Fighter player because I often put my life in my own way. So if you can learn anything from me, and not put yourself in burnout like an idiot and then put yourself far away from Luke when he's Luke. Ah, uh, if I were to jump regularly, I would have had him. If you can learn anything from me, it's to try it. Like, I'll try loops. Like, I, like this weekend, I was at Snapback Volume 2, right? And I tried loops. And by trying loops, I did drop them, but... I tried them and I don't regret trying them because that's what you're supposed to do. You're in a tournament, you're trying to get better. You want to be the best version of yourself. So sometimes you're gonna have to try things that uh, you quite frankly are not always gonna get. Quite frankly, not gonna do good at. Quite frankly, it is what it is. <laughs> so now you actually see my face is embarrassing. Embarrassing, whoa. <laughs> yeah, so just believe in the, the you that I believe in, you know what I mean? I think you could do it. I think you just have to level up and practice. And nerves are part of being human. They get us. That's the crazy thing. It's like, no matter how many times you do it, how many routine times you do it, how many times you improve, how many times you hit a wall, how many times, just anything, you're still gonna get nervous. That's the beauty of being human. So I don't know how I'm gonna title this video. I don't know if this video resonates with anyone. I don't know if this video, because it's supposed to be a league match, so it could just be a casual match, but. I wanted to speak my truth. I wanted to tell you honestly. Like, shout out to Aqua Buds. Like, they beat me fair and square. I'm not knocking them. I'm not saying if I wasn't nervous, I would have beat them. But I think I would have did better. I could confidently say that. But yeah, I was. But I'm human. So, uh, love you guys. Different type of video. No jokes, no nothing. I was just speaking from the heart. Until um, next time, peace.